So, PlayStation 3, T598, doesn't work. I got it back up. I had to set a process on this thing is really, really, really aggravating and confusing. You're going to definitely need a PC. So if you don't have a PC, you might have to hold out on getting a direct drive wheel or find a direct drive wheel that you don't have to go through PC to set it up. They're going to make you go to the Microsoft store to get the software. You have to hold settings in L3 and push the power off on the back and then you gotta keep holding it and turn the power back on and hit the next button and then it's gonna start and then when it's done it's gonna make you restart your computer. Um, I'm running on a Mac and I'm running boot camp so you have to keep going through the process and going through the process like three times it gets aggravating just to try to run this wheel. Haven't ran it on a set of Corsa, but I did set it up where it's recognized. Um, I want to use the new pedals. I did an unboxing video. I know this is just, it's, you know, why does your room look like this? Because I actually did the unboxing and I've been trying to figure out this thing. And I was showing when, if I could have got the um, PlayStation 3 to work with it. I was trying to play Gran Turismo 6. And right here we got Gran Turismo 5. And we got D1GP for PlayStation 2. Gran Turismo 4, 3, 2, and 1. Which I'm going to end up running on my Mac via a emulator. I was trying. I tried, folks. I, I really tried. I really tried to get Gran Turismo 6 up and playing because I wanted to see if it would work. I wanted to run Gran Turismo 6. I have a CRX on there that I really, really, really wanted to drive to see what it felt like in a direct drive. Soon, hopefully, Polyphony will get their heads out their ass and give us the cars that we want. Because not everybody wants street cars, I understand. But there's a, quite a bit of us to do. Um, I don't do race cars. My brother does the race cars on here. He's on... Um, he does a whole bunch of other videos. He posts directly off his PlayStation. And he's got a the new G Pro Logitech, and he's got a Fnatic uh, CSL DD Pro GT Pro, however you pronounce the damn thing. Um, I almost bought it off of him, but I ended up not because that was money that I didn't have to spend at the moment, and I'm glad I didn't because. I got this. Yeah. Anywho. Um, when I say I got this, it's, it's not a shot at Thrustmaster, even though it's kind of been a disappointment of not just connecting and driving. You got to go through all this hoopla hassle with the damn PC, and then it gets confusing. Um, yeah, it would have been a whole much easier. If it had just been plug and play. But, you know. Um, I've got an unboxing that I want to show. So before I do some running, which I'm about to do some running right now. I will pop out this video. Sorry for the hard pause phrasing. I'm going to have to upload everything out of my phone into the computer and I'm going to edit a video for you guys and we're going to do some pulling the video directly off of the PlayStation when I show some runs so thank you for 
viewing if you've made it this far and hopefully this will be more in you guys uh, follow up like subscribe and whatever you don't have to comment because I probably won't read them or if I do read them I probably won't comment back so you have a, a good evening and you will get another video soon so out